All right, boys and girls, and welcome to Goring Guitar Foo Fighters, legendary Foo Fighters. Show me how that's the title of this song. A great song, like always, a bit experimental, and not only like two, three chords or so. We have the nine chord song here. So, uh, and uh, yeah, that's the challenge between uh, the chord switches here, all these chords. Otherwise, it's pretty straightforward. A single string pattern will work for the song. So let's take a look at Foo Fighters. Show me how. First of all, capo set on the second fret. That's the easiest scenario for us to have the easiest chords possible. So let's go over the chords. The first one will be the C major seven. So that is third on A, second on D, open G, open B, and open E. Then we have the A. So that is open A, second D, second G, second B, and open E. Then we have the A major seven. It's very similar. Looks like this. Sounds like that. It's the open A, second D, and now comes the difference here between the standard A. It's the first G, then second B, and open E. So that's the only difference here. A and A major. You just have to recuperate your fingers a little bit like this. But anyway, that's the A's. Now let's go to the G. So that is third on E, second on A, open D, open G, third B, and third E. We have the D, so that is open D, second G, third B, and second E. We have the E, so that is open E, second A, second D, first G, open B, and open E. We have a bar chord, that's the B minor 7. Right, so that is a bar here on the second fret from the A string and down. So that means you bar all strings except from the last E here in the bass. So five strings from bottom up on the second fret. And then the rest will be fourth on D and third on B. Then we have just two more chords left and that's the F chord. So we have two variations here. The standard F is with a bar here on the first fret. You bar all strings. On the first fret and then the rest will be third on a third on d and second on g and then we also have f major seven and this is the shorter version of it so third on d second on g first b and open e so there i believe we nailed the nine chords that are used in this song Yes, we did, I think. All right, so let's start this one up. Let's dive right into the verses here. And you're gonna play, first of all, a strumming pattern. We're gonna illustrate that with the first chord. That's the A. All right, so grab the A, and together we're gonna play the strumming that goes down, 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 up. Like this. So down, down, down. I like to play the first two downs on the bass strings. If you can separate it like that, that's great. So on the bass strings and then the down, down, up more on the mid top strings. So slowly a couple rounds to get the rhythm goes like this. That's what we're going to work with when it comes to the strumming. Let's look at the chord progression here. The verse, you're going to play A, then D, then the F, and then E. All right, you're going to play two strumming rounds per chord. So it goes. gonna play this chord progression for four rounds here in the first verse and then after the four rounds ending on the fourth time on the E here you go back to play F two times 
and then you end with E1 down. So. And a pause there. All right. Uh, no, actually, in this first verse, sorry uh, for making this a little bit unclear, uh, two times on the E as well in the end there. So F two times and E two times. So four rounds of A, D, F, E, two strong rounds per chord. And after the E there, you go to F, two strong rounds, and E, two strong rounds. Uh -huh. That's how it's done. All right, so that's the first verse. Then we'll come to the pre-course. In the lyrics, I'll take care of everything from now on. All right, so you're going to play A four times. Then the F major seven, two times. And now this is where the E comes with one down plus this pause. I was a little bit ahead there before. So that's the pre-chorus. Four times of A, two times of F major seven, and one down on E plus the pause. It goes like this. And the pause. And that takes us to the chorus. All right, so the chorus is very similar to the verse play here, just a little bit different here with the major chords. So we're going with A major 7, two strong rounds, D, two rounds, the F major now, two rounds, and the E, two rounds. All right, so you're going to play this chord progression for two rounds in total. All right, so A major. So we have the second verse is played in the same way as the first one and the same goes even with the second pre-chorus and the second chorus. So nothing changes here for the second round so to speak. Then after the second chorus comes a bridge part. It's about 2 minutes and 59 seconds into the song. All right. So it starts in the lyrics with I'll take care of everything. We know that from the pre-chorus but that's what it sings there two minutes and 59 seconds into the song so you're gonna now use the b minor seven same still um strumming pattern here so b minor seven four rounds and that's kind of a start up here for this bridge part and now comes the part that pretty much uh, repeats itself it will be a four string rounds C major, two rounds, and B minor seven, two rounds. That part you repeat for three rounds, all right? So I'm gonna play A, four, C major, and B minor. Again. Final time, A4, C major 2, and B minor 2. And that's the bridge part. Then comes the third chord. Alright, so the third chord now is the same chords A major, D, F major, and E, but you will play it for four rounds. Alright, so it's uh, twice as long as other choruses. You play it after four rounds and then you end with one down on the A. All right, so four rounds plus one A, one down and the pause. This pause takes us to the outro part, right? And that's the final part of the song. So it starts pretty much with an instrumental, short instrumental touch there. C major seven, two strong rounds and B minor seven, two strong rounds. So C major. And now comes the lyrics with the standard play here. I'll take care of everything. So you're gonna play A, four strong rounds, C major, two rounds, and B minor seven, two rounds. That short chord progression, A4, C major two, and B minor two, you're gonna repeat that for four rounds. 
and during these four rounds this song slowly fades out so it dies with this outro part i'm gonna take a couple of rounds of it and goes Yeah, some kind of fade out there. I'm bad at it, very bad. But anyway, that illustrates the end of Foo Fighters Show Me How. All right, so I hope that I succeeded here and show you how to play this great song from Foo Fighters. And if you are a fan of them, they will come back here on this channel for sure. So they released a couple of new songs lately that I would like to bring up here. So if you like them, please uh, feel free to um, to subscribe to this channel and uh, perhaps follow up this tutorial if you enjoyed it, if it was helpful. And yeah, thank you for watching like always guys, play tuned.